want to know what, what lesson that you had to learn so that you could heal the most. Stop expecting you from people. Really? Mm -hmm. that um, yes, because that allows me to evaluate relationships with a lot more clarity, but also recognizing I could be kind and still not let people play with my kindness. Right. How are you able to achieve that? Because that really seems like something that we all could learn from. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have to ask yourself, what's more important to me? Is it being liked by people or being valued by people? Because those are very different audiences, right? Yeah. A lot of people could like you until they don't. You say one wrong thing. Now this person doesn't like you anymore. Oh, OK. You were just along the ride because what I said fed your ego. But in terms mm -hmm. of value, you're going to appreciate me to some capacity beyond just the surface. Right. So in order to accept and recognize that I could be kind and still have boundaries, mm -hmm. you have to ask yourself, what's my biggest concern, being liked or being valued? Yeah. And I'd rather be valued. Yeah. Value. Yes. Va value. Yeah. That right yeah. here. I mean, yeah. that, <laughs> that can take you. A long, long way. Well, that's that's a lifetime friend. That's a lifetime family just to be yeah. valued because yeah. it shows up in work, you know, not just yeah. in talking, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I one of the things I do appreciate is like whenever I'm being interviewed and this is probably one of my favorite interviews, but it's like understanding that you are valued in so many ways beyond just what you think. And even when things are not going great, there's still a glimpse of what is working. Yeah. And it just comes down to who you are and what your reputation is. So thank you for having me because it, it is a beautiful reminder of like, this is what value looks like. Oh my goodness. Where's the tambourine? Come on now. I get the tambourine on that one. <laughs> <laughs> 